Hello everyone, Larry with Larry the Computer Guy here. We're an IT managed service provider in Commerce, Michigan, specializing in cybersecurity and compliance. So for this week's in the malware and ransomware news, if it's not enough that we have COVID riots and racism, we're also having hackers sell info on us. You see, the voter registration data of 186 million people are being sold on the dark web. And I have a few issues with this. First of all, this information is publicly available and is being bought and sold regularly by legitimate businesses. So why is this allowed? Why is our government selling this information? This buying and selling of this data is just setting us up for interference in our elections. The odds are 56% for your data being included in this information. The next thing in the news involves Microsoft. You see, Microsoft Teams has come under attack with a new phishing campaign. These emails impersonate an automatic message from Microsoft in order to steal your login credentials. Be on the lookout for fake login information being requested from Microsoft. The next thing in the news this week is has to do with Facebook once again. Be careful of shared links on Facebook. Currently there is a link circulating which when clicked on will redirect you to a website that tells you you've been hacked and you have malware. It then gives you a number to call to get instant tech support. Stay safe and have a great week.